so you can see very harmful gases were going out from factories also and in other vehicles also you can see the vehicles too much uh, gases were going out from the vehicles and in they, they go into the environment and they, they just absorb in environment and the substances and rich in environment they just mix up in the air concentrate the air and they just uh, they are not uh, just good for our health economic and aesthetic effects so they are not good for our health you can understand it easily that uh, these gases these are harmful gases which are produced by the factories and when we are cooking from the cooking also and when the vehicles are going here and there or the vehicles are not good and we are making them good the too much uh, air or gases were coming out from do those things and they were making the air damage and air is going very bad so this is air pollution now i am talking about water pollution the second type and main type of water pollution pollution is water pollution water pollution the release of substances into the surface groundwater or into the lakes stream rivers and stories and oceans to the point where the substances interfere with beneficial use of water or with the natural functioning of ecosystem in addition to the release of substances such as chemicals trash or microorganisms water pollution may also include the release of energy into the form of radioactivity or heat into the bodies of water so water pollution is like any stream lake river or any ocean uh, the anything which is released by any substance or factory wastage of factory or our garbage or our wastage also animal wastage also they are going into the water ocean stream rivers like lakes etc and they are making the water pollution and the functioning ecosystem is going very bad and in addition if i can uh, tell you about the chemical trash or microorganism they are also causing the water pollution and war uh, chemicals or microorganism you can see in our daily life we, we are using chemicals to clean up our home and in, in factories also there are a lot of chemicals they are using and microorganisms also they are making water pollutant so the energy is making our water pollutant and the radioactive energy heat these are also causing the water pollution so water pollution is like uh, too many things too many pollutants they are making water pollution which is also not good for us because we drink water and it goes in our tummy and in, it goes in our uh, human body and it uh, make us sick so water pollution is also the very dangerous for everyone now the third type which is also not underestimated because land pollution land pollution is the type the, the, the composition of solid or liquid wasted materials on land or underground in a manner that can contaminate the soil and groundwater threaten public health and cause you unsatisfactory condition and nuisances the wasted material that uh, cause land pollution are broadly classified as municipal solid waste uh, also called municipal refuse construction and demolition uh, waste or debris and hazardous waste um, msw includes the non hazards garbage rubbish and trash from homes institutions e.g. schools and commercial establishment and industrial facilities garbage country moist and decomposable food wastages meat vegetable scraps rubbish compo uh, Compromises uh, mostly dry materials such as paper, glass, textile, plastic objects, and trash included. Bulky water materials and objects are not collected routinely for disposal. So, the land wastage is, in simple words, it is like what we are throwing on land. It is making our land polluted, and except it, the animal dump is also making the uh, land polluted and when other animal or insect go to the land and they want to eat anything they are eating the wasted and which is making uh, animals also sick and this land pollution also going into the air and into the water uh, except the land pollution is also making water and air very pollutant now number four type is plastic pollution when i was child i used to listen about plastic pollution that it is very 
harmful, dangerous for uh, living things and uh, living beings health. So plastic pollution accumulation in the environment of synthetic plastic produce products to the point that they create problem for the world life, wildlife and their habitat as well as for human population. In 1907 the invitation of Bakelite brought about a revolution in materials by introducing true the synthetic plastic resins into the world commerce. By the end of the 20th century, plastic had been found to be persistent polluters for many environmental niches from uh, Mount Everest to the bottom of the sea, whether being mistaken for food by animals, including low layering areas, backloading, drainage system, or simply causing deficiencies, thick red plastic have attracted hundreds of workers. So plastic pollution is main of the pollution uh, pollutant very 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 harmful pollution in 1907 uh, backlash brought revolution in materials that he just produced a plastic that plastic will help us to take our any good or anything here and there as you know plastic is very useful nowadays and we are very very think that uh, Plastic is very useful, but uh, in the end of 20th century, everyone realized that plastic is uh, making pollution in environment. So they, it is making very, very pollution in environment because food by animals and flooding, lowing, low laying areas, backlogging drainage system, or simple causing the significant bright. So every plastic is making very, very, very environmental pollution. Now I'm talking about noise pollution, which bothered me a lot. Noise, I don't like noise, so I, if, uh, if there's too much noise, I also get like I am sick. So unwanted or excessive, excessive sound that can have a deleterious effect on human health, wildlife, environmental quality. Noise pollution is commonly generated inside many industrial facilities and some other workplaces, but it is also comes from highway, railway, and airplane traffic and from outdoor construction. You can see someone is construction and their machinery making noise. In fact, their machinery is making noise or you can see uh, outside when you go in the traffic jam, the uh, uh, vehicles make too much noise. So, so this uh, uh, is called noise pollution or in, on TV if you are any serial and you are making volume too much high then it is also noise pollution if you are listening the songs and you are, your volume is very high so it is also noise pollution and this pollution I don't like too much uh, volume of anything or too much noise so it always uh, bother me a lot and for wildlife it is also not good for wildlife because animals also don't like too much noise I saw some people who don't like too much light so it is also called light pollution or some people who cannot uh, want the very lower light so unwanted or excessive artificial light like noise pollution light pollution is form of wastage energy that can cause adverse effect and degrade environmental quality moreover because light transmitted and as electromagnetic waves is typically generated by electricity which itself is usually generated by the submission combustion combustion of fossil fuel it can be said that there is a connection between light pollution and air pollution from fossil fuel power plant control of light pollution therefore with the help of converse fuel and the reduce air pollution as well mitigate the more immediate problem caused by the excessive light so you know some people don't like too much light so this is the wastage of energy also so and some people cannot uh, access in uh, low light so it is also light pollution but i don't have light pollution so i think today's topic is very interesting about pollution and it's very easy and it's uh, in normal day life you can see these pollutions easily so if you like my video subscribe my channel and give it a thumbs up thank you bye bye i love this